Senor, senorita, welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where today we will be beginning a Spanish campaign. Full disclosure, we are at the 1.09.0 Banta Repair Pack 1. As such, I do not think this campaign will last very long. Um, in fact, I'll be lucky if I get a few turns out of this, but we shall see, we shall see. And the Spanish have a very interesting start. Um, to begin with, as you can see, sound seems a bit loud, settings. Let's put it down a bit. There we go. As you could see, the Spanish do not have a shipyard big enough for battleships. So that is a major issue. It means our cruisers are the biggest ships we have. And in this campaign, we will not be focusing on speed. No, sir. These Spanish ships will in fact be the slowest ships you will ever see in this game. I will not run up to the enemy. I will not attempt to fight an enemy. No, sir. The enemy will come to me. And as such, I will start off with a 9-inch main belt. And, oh, we can almost do this. Um, oh, I still need a superstructure as well. You know what? Let's go with a 3.5-inch four-belt. 3.5-off-belt. Did my weight just go up? inch fine. Okay, we have an engine efficiency of 50% at 16 knots. Okay. <laughs> my engine uh, efficiency is bad, people. It is very bad indeed. Um, casemate guns. Let's throw in the casemates. And jeez, we're overweight. Why are we suddenly overweight that much? Well, they are pretty heavy, 27 tons, but I removed them and I'm still overweight. Am I missing something here? <laughs> Houston? Oh well, let's get rid of the range. I mean, we are early game, so that's fine. There we go. We have a heavy cruiser. Um, I also want a light cruiser design, and I'm going to skip on the torpedo boats. We don't need a lot of ships, do we? No, not this early. Let's just build a couple and get going. Way more fun that way. Oh, I like this idea. Um, yeah, sure. Ground. Let's lower the speed to 17 knots. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Citadel, please. Enhanced reloading. Yes, please. I do not have anything else. And I would like a two inch all rounder. There we go. Am I going to bother with the four weight offset? Well, I can, I suppose. Let's do this. If I move you back further, the guns will not fire. I can't move you further back either, but I do have a bit of room remaining. So, off deck. Increase. There we go. And, yeah, I did not look at this because I doubt I have to tech anyway. Now. 
What makes the Spanish Empire so much fun to play in this campaign, you might wonder? Um, what makes her more special than any other nation? Mm, not much. Not much. But there is some things. Um, starting in Europe. She has a very strong starting position in Europe with some very decent harbors here. And of course, it's very easy for you to block off uh, Gibraltar um, and the French colonies in Algeria. Um, all the way around, if you have a war um, in the north, it's fairly easy to block off um, La Rochelle, Brest, and blockade the uh, English Channel here with your fleets. So you get a very strong localized European position here. Um, only the uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire has a better localized position, I reckon. But besides that, we also have in the Western Sahara several uh, islands with enough um, tonnage for a light cruiser um, or one or two destroyers here and there. Uh, further down south, we have Bata. In, yeah, Equatorial uh, Guinea. And then we have a lot of space with nothing that concerns us. And then we come to the Philippines, where we have another large um, area that we control. And especially the Philippines itself have the port capabilities to sustain a small task force of cruisers. Um, looking at the western routes, we have of course Puerto Rico and Cuba. Yes, please. And that is about it, really. Well, that's about it. Not like you can complain. You can fight the USA. You can fight pretty much every nation in Europe pretty easily. And you have the abilities to fight in Asia. What more do you want, people? What more do you want? A very good starting location, I'd say. As you can see, the starting tax, however, um, are not as great. In terms of friendliness, of um, political issues, well, the USA does not like us. Well, historically, that's fairly accurate. We do have some things that the USA kind of want to have. Like um, Cuba, like the Philippines, like every other colony that we have. I blame the USA for losing my colonies eventually. Um, yeah, in terms of tech, we have a very decent start uh, here. Rangefinders coming up quickly. Um, let's get whole construction as a second and new torpedo tubes. And now we're fairly. Let's not do that. Let's let's focus on the engine tech as a third. All right. Let's start the campaign. And we're losing a bit of money now. That is unfortunate. But seeing we are at peace, we can bring the crew training down to 60%. Should be enough for now. I am going to move a light cruiser group and some heavy cruisers to Cuba. Of course, with a low tech level, we do have the issue that if we get into an early war with the USA, we're in trouble. The USA start off with battleships and they have a strong economy, really. So, gotta keep that in mind. It is a strong enemy that really hates us. And as such, I'm going to move a couple more ships in this direction. I'm gonna send them here, I know. This dock won't ha have the capability of sustaining them, so I will move them to other locations later on. For now, I just want to have some ships there. 
around. Yeah, I do not want to lose the money right now. The Russians are building new ships and the Russians and the Japanese have started the first war. Oh, I have been playing the uh, German campaign um, right now as I'm recording this. I just finished uploading episode 9 nine of my German campaign and it is fun to be back at the um, world map really with all the nations. I just hope, against all hopes, I fully admit that I'll be able to get, you know, a couple of episodes done before the crashes start to happen. As we have our rangefinders. Very good, very good. We get internal protection, reinforced bulkheads. Let's focus on armor quality. And as you can see, we are making 2 million a month. I really don't want to increase my relation with the USA, but, you know, GDP is GDP. Um, let's boost up the research to 100%. And I believe my ships have arrived at their destinations. Yes, indeed. We're not even that much overweight here. Um, let's send two light cruisers out. And zoom in, please. Guantanamo Bay can have two light cruisers as well. That should fix this issue, I hope. I'm losing even more money now. What? I do not care. I have some unrest already though, so let's go with the soft option. Alright, that's better. Um, yeah, losing money all of a sudden and quite a bit. So let's do that again. Bring the research down. Where's my third one? Oh yeah, on the, on the engines. Uh, ship design. Heavy cruisers. Let's view this design. And no, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name for this heavy cruiser. Let's see if the refitting works. I've heard some people complain about refitting on the uh, Steam forums. So let's see. Safe design. Exit. Minor upgrade only. Loading world. Order. And we survived. <laughs> Upgrade these ships one month. I'm not going to build any more of you. View the design of this light cruiser. Let's try the second upgrade. Refits. And you're getting mine layers and range finders. Thank you very much. Safe design. Exit. Once again, a terrifying loading time. Just to get back to the screen, in my opinion. It's not something I'm used to. Delete this design and research. Nine months for the new torpedo boats. Let's speed it up to two months and then I'm gonna design my first torpedo boat as the British unlock the new light cruisers and the Russians keep losing ships in their little war that's sad <laughs> the Japanese have 33 battleships why can the Japanese build battleships now and I, as the Spanish, cannot. That's a bit weird. I thought all either all nations could build battleships now. 
But um, yeah, I can't. Although. No, not not even the smallest one. Uh, no, no, no! God damn it! I wanted to stay in there. Whoops, my bad. Oh come on! <laughs> We were all like, can we build this? <laughs> oh, that would have been fun. That would have been fun. Okay, let's view the design. Let's see what happens. Can I... No, when I view the design, I cannot modify it. Okay. So essentially, I have a ship hull here that is useless. Delete. If you do such a thing, then it really sh you really should be able to continue building uh, the ship, I believe. This feels a bit strange. 21 knots on my torpedo boat. Are you kidding me? No, sir, I'm not. You, you see, um, high speeds is very dangerous for human health. And we really should not go fast. This I have decreed. This is how it shall be. There we go. A minor aft weight offset that we really cannot fix. Or can we? Let's move you forwards and place the torpedo in the stern. Aft weight of 30% now. A challenge accepted. Come on. We have a four weight offset now. There we go. That's better, isn't it? And enhanced reloading and heavy shells. And you know what? Let's go for maximum range just because we have some spare room. T million increase right now. That is very good. Boiler weight. Oh, we also have the flag tech that came up. Let's see, armor forging, 10 months, hull strengthening, 1 month, hull protection, 1 month. Double bottoms, yes please. And if I also unlock the explosive tech, I can also equip my new ships with... Ah, damn it! That will be too much. For my research to handle. Luckily, the Austro-Hungarian Empire is not really engaging us just yet. That gives me time. Engine weights, double bottom. Tell me, I did have, yeah, that's a, at 100%. Okay, well, one month for you, one month for you. Uh, or can I get, no... Now that's a shame, I cannot get the torpedo mechanisms to one month as well. So let's not do that. Oh, but look at that, small guns, one month. Then I will have two inch Mark IIs. That is very nice. I do like that. Yeah, that's the only focus I should get. And then we can design our ships. No more waiting. No more waiting for... Oh, dear. Um, let's go with a...
fairly neutral option, as the first battle is upon us. Well, battle may be a big word. The enemy is to the east, and my ship is going very slow, so let's speed this up until we encounter the enemy. We're getting in the way. And first blood is on the enemy. Well done, AI. What are we facing? She has 5.2 inch guns. I have 5 inch guns. I do have a rangefinder. I doubt they will have one. That's sad. They are hitting me more than I hit them. 11 inch chance to hit. 1.8. Uh, game. Okay, let's slow down to 15 knots. 7% chance to hit. Oof. A very slow duel. Oh dear. The enemy is disengaging. And with that, this first battle ends in a draw. The enemy has taken a few crew losses. I have taken a few losses. Nothing too fancy. But their ship will be out for a long time. I do not know how long they will repair, though. Um, I cannot see it. But let's say at least four to five months. I'd say this is a great victory for the uh, Spanish Navy, but um, <laughs> no, no, it's not. Ship design, new design. So we're facing light cruisers of at least 17 knots. I want my new light cruiser, as such, to go 18 knots. Lowest possible range. Standard crew quarters. With a good tower setup. At least we will not need a lot of funnels for this design. 115%. Can we bring that down? 109. 104. Yeah, 104 is what we're going for. Um, I do like my 5 inchers. They have been very effective this last battle. <coughs> Yes, yes, they have been. Let me dream, people. Let me dream. Um, can I add a four-incher there? Yes, I can. Hmm. This ship would be really nice with four-inchers. Anyway, my two-inchers are Mark twos, And then they start to be useful. I do want the torpedo, barbat 1, compound armor, reinforced bulkheads with a citadel. Reduce torpedo ammo is fine. Gun cotton please. 
do I have? I have base fuse shells. Max HE is fine. And let's go with a 5331135. Well, 4.7. Um, inner deck is a bit low. That is a bit much. Two. So I can bring the Citadel deck armor up to 1.2. Can I or can I not do this? Yes, I can. Look at that. A new light cruiser. Ready to be used. This light cruiser. Let's go eight of them. Build time is nine months. A very good start. Should I send out a task force to see if we can get a new battle, a real battle? Yes, I think I will. Um, if you want a war, sure. And sure. A war between the Brits and the Russians, the Spanish and the Russians. Oh, tempting. We have a light cruiser that is very overweight against an enemy light cruiser. And I have to defend the convoy. Let's see what happens. 10 times speed. Full speed ahead. All 17 knots. The enemy has spotted me already. And is shooting me. My mission is to keep my convoy safe. That's all that matters. Navas de Tolosa. Lovely name. I'll probably butcher the name. <laughs> Ooh, 200 damage done. Yeah, enemy cruiser is disengaging again. He did not like that. Job done. Mission accomplished. Do, 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 do. He can, can be sneaky though and stay just out of, uh, out of range for me. Yeah, he's continuing his fight for now. That's sad. She's doing 14 knots right now. Oh, 14.9, 15.5, 15, 16. Yes, she is increasing speed rapidly. 16.3, 64. I do not think I can get close enough to finish her off. Although, with hits like that, let's see, standard crew quarters, 1.7 million to build one of these ships. I think, yeah, she's done for. First blood, the first ship sunk. Another skirmish in the Mediterranean. Your convoy raiders have nothing on my awesome escorting ships. Uh, that's sad, though. There is also a Russian task force here. I'm going to move my heavy cruiser and torpedo boats over there. And... Oof, this is a very big task force. Two light cruisers over there, please. And I forgot to check my research. How sloppy. We have a battle. Um, yeah, my unrest is getting pretty high, so let's lose a bit of money as we unlock the new battleships. Very fun. Um, still working on my dockyards. But the moment we have the dockyards, we can actually start producing these battleships. Hmm. 
shells, armor quality, armor forging. Okay, where's my battle? Another battle in the Mediterranean against a enemy light cruiser. Well, not the most interesting of fights, but let's take it anyway. Where is she? Northeast. High explosive rounds, please. As we know, the enemy light cruisers are not very heavily armored. So, this will be a better choice, and I should stop hitting my microphone. <laughs> Sorry if that was a bit loud there. I hope you didn't notice. Ah, who am I kidding? Of course you did. You're awesome after all. As we score our first hits on the enemy ship. Let's stay in a small turn here. Yeah, two degree rudder is fine. Range is two kilometers out. Come on, one more kilometer and we can speed the game up. Click, there we go. Below two kilometers, two kilometers low, then the max speed is uh, three times you can do. Uh, I prefer five times speed, <laughs> honestly. Oh, the last time we finished off a light cruiser fairly quickly, so let's see. No, 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 she is running. Come on. Are you afraid of my very well-trained crew? I guess you should be. And the enemy ship even stopped firing. So, yeah. Another draw, people. Another draw. Let's lay a smoke screen and disengage. And let's speed this retreat up. So, 74 minutes have passed in the recording, so, yeah. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this battle comes to a close. Well, battle, battle. Sadly, the enemy did not want to fight me. I think they were afraid. They did take light damage, and this time I can see the repair status. Okay, one month. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, this episode comes to a close, like I said. I thank you all very much for watching, and next episode we will continue our slow campaign. Until then, ladies, gentlemen, senor, senoritas, uh, farewell.